Hi guys, ZCrazyG here with another CTR Nitro Fueled video. Now firstly, I am sorry for the lack of uploads recently. After the video on the potential new Crash game, I was planning some other stuff. But I completely lost my voice for all this past week, so that kind of sucks. But it's getting better now and I'm back at it. Anywho, today we are going to do what we always like to do with each of the Grand Prix for CTR and review them. Normally I do this nearer the end of the Grand Prix, but I actually finished the Nitro tier for this one about a week and a half in. So I've already kind of experienced most of what it has to offer. I'll be breaking down all the content that was introduced in this Grand Prix and discussing how good or bad it was. So the Neon Circus Grand Prix has such an incredible concept with the whole circus idea. It just opened the door for a lot of creative ideas to put in. And seeing as this Grand Prix was also reintroducing fan favourite characters, there were big expectations and I would say that they were met for the most part. I want to talk first about the brand new game mode, Ring Rally. And I'll be honest, I initially fought Ring Rally on paper. While it sounded fun, I felt it would be more of a one and done thing but I was genuinely pretty taken aback at how much I enjoyed this mode. This mode not only helps newer or less experienced players get better at the game, but also rewards and challenges highly skilled players as well in equal amount. The whole idea is that the rings lay out the ideal route to take on the track and give you a speed boost when travelling through them, with the timer counting down unless you pass through the rings which get smaller with each lap. And it becomes insanely hard later on when you have to maintain a high speed around the optimal track route while having to be increasingly precise. It really tests an experienced player's skill at the tracks and pays out a much higher one per coin earn rate than normal to make attempting it worthwhile. And taking the player around the track's best routes with the difficulty increasing gradually helps them to understand the track layout more and is great for practicing and getting better for newer players. I am honestly surprised at just how well thought out Ring Rally was. And I have to commend Beanox for adding a game mode that's actually a worthy addition and benefits the game overall. Now onto the Grand Prix specific content, starting with the new track Koala Carnival. And I won't lie, like most people, I was quite disappointed with this track at first. Upon seeing that circular layout, it just felt really underwhelming. The promotional material for this track made it seem so much more complex than it really was. Now having said that, I will say this. Though the track is basically a circle, as far as circles go, it's a fucking damn fine circle. Despite the simplistic layout, the track's obstacles make what would be a very dull and simple donut into a fast-paced and chaotic frenzy. And need I even say anything about the visuals, it's clear as day. The track is fucking gorgeous, it's so colourful, has a great scale and atmosphere, it's just a delight to the eyes. So I feel the best way to sum up this track is that while I think it's a good track and does a lot with its limited and simplistic layout, I can't help but feel in the back of my head that there was so much more potential here for the track to go that extra mile. Still love you though, Koala Carnival, you're a solid track. The characters in this Grand Prix, again like the spooky Grand Prix, are all solid, fantastic and deserving additions to the roster. It's great to have Pasadena Opossum back, especially considering how highly requested she was. And even though we once again have another character voiced by Debbie Debrary, I still think she does a good job. Same with Koala Kong, it's really good to have the whole original trilogy cast in there now, lovely to have him. And Ebenezer Von Clutch might very well be my new main. I love his quote, the new voice actor is pretty solid, and I just love his unique driving animation. The little details like that I fucking love, it really goes a long way into giving so much more character, he's definitely one of my favourites added so far. Also King Chicken, for as dumb of an inclusion as he is, he's a fun one. And I like that they're adding characters that have actual quests behind unlocking them as opposed to being purchased in the pit stop, I'd like to see more of that in the future. The cart selection is great as well, I might even say it's the best selection of the carts added to the game yet. Normally with each of these Grand Prix, I always like two of the carts, but then think one of them is a bit eh. But here, I love all three of them, they are all really solid. I love the really diesel punk aesthetic of the pressurizer, the daredevil is really sleek and slick, and the bumper car is just a really unique and thematically fitting cart. I really enjoy all of these and they all stand out very well amongst the cart selection. I also really like the unique twist they gave with customization items this time. Not just making one of each colour wheel or paint job, but giving them different designs and animation to make them even more unique. 
The skins were really good this time, and it's great to see skins being allocated to characters who either haven't received any or have very few, such as Nash or the Trophy Girls. Also, big cheers to Beanox for increasing the maximum Nitro bonus you can receive from 50% to 70%. Even though I'd rather the system not be in there at all, it does make things slightly less grindy by allowing you to fill up the meter that bit faster. I suppose the biggest nitpick I have is with the challenges. There is way too much reliance on online mode for these. As especially considering the abysmal state of online at the moment where it's just broken and unbalanced to shit in my opinion. I get that by making you do things in online lobbies it makes it that bit harder and that's fine, but so many challenges being centred around online when it's in this state just turns me off completely. But that aside, much like the spooky Grand Prix, I would have to say this is another absolutely fantastic Grand Prix event. While I do feel that Koala Carnival could have been so much more and didn't quite live up to its full potential, it's still a good track. And the characters, carts, and customization options added are among some of the best, if not maybe the best Grand Prix content we have received so far. It was a very solid choice of theming to go for, and in my opinion, it paid off. And it's very reassuring that with these past two Grand Prix's that despite the game's issues, they can still provide some incredible content for the game post-launch to keep it alive. And given what we know from the Winter Festival Grand Prix based off data mines, it seems to be continuing that trend splendidly. So tell me, what did you guys think of this Grand Prix? What did you like and dislike? Do let me know in the comments below. And with that, I will leave it there. Thank you all so, so much for watching, guys. It really does mean a lot, and I promise there will be a much more frequent content coming from now on. Feel free to like and subscribe if you feel like it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, guys.